Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So I look absolutely insane right now. Okay, so what I haven't told y'all is that I went a couple days ago, went on Monday, and I got my eyebrows retouched up. Which, if y'all remember the drill from last time, that means no makeup <laughs> for about a week. So I've still got a few more days. So I'm going to be giving y'all a couple of eye tutorials where literally all I'm going to do is just my eyes for y'all. No foundation, none of that fancy stuff. Sorry guys. <laughs> but I went in this time, I got my eyes microbladed with the powders, so they look a little crazy, but I promise they'll calm down later, but hopefully they'll retain a lot more color than they did last time. So enough about that, and we are going to move straight on to the makeup. <clears throat> so all I want to do for y'all today is just a real quick tutorial with a brand new Morphe palette, and it is not the one you probably thought. It is the Morphe 9C. We know these are nice. They have a mirror and the names on the colors. This is the Jewel Crew palette, and I got it from Ulta, of course, and it is $12. Super affordable, and so far it looks super cute. So we're just going to try a quick look, and literally this is going to be so fast. I'm just going to start with Rock Out in my crease and toss that in here. So that is blended, that is pigmented, perfect. So next we are going to go into Chocolate Diamond right here. Put that in our outer corner just to deepen things up. This color does not have like any fallout. So apparently that is not the whole palette that has fallout. <clears throat> and it's blending nicely and deepening up exactly the way I hoped it would. Okay, so I don't even know if this is gonna match, but I know this is the color that I was most curious about, and I'm betting y'all were too. I'm gonna go into Purple Rain. This is the gorgeous jewel toned purple in this palette. And just using my finger, I'm gonna apply it to my lid. Okay, so that laid down, pretty pigmented. Pretty nice, not mad about it. Gonna do my lower lash line how I always do. So just whatever is left between these two colors is gonna go right here to tie the look together a little bit. And yeah, um, I'm gonna put on just a little bit of mascara, come right back and swatch the colors, a couple of them that I didn't use for y'all. Okay. So we're just going to swatch um, these three here because these are the ones that I'm the most curious about. That's going to be Rose Quartz. Ooh, that would have been pretty on the inner corner. Hidden Gem, which is our metallic -y brown. And then Fool's Gold which is gorgeous. So here are these swatches. They're really pretty, really pigmented. The shimmers are a little harder than what I prefer. They're not bad, not at all. I'm just gonna swap on some gloss so I look a little bit put together. Okay guys, so this is it. I know this is really rough and it looks really weird with absolutely nothing else on. I'm sorry. I promise as soon as I can put foundation on again, I will. Like literally the minute I can because I'm going to be missing it so bad. <laughs> so <clears throat> here's one more look at the palette. And a look at what I came up with in like three minutes. And yeah, that is it. I know this is a quick review, but I wanted to get it up because I know not many people review these nine color palettes. 
and I thought y'all should see a little bit of how it performs and see what I think about it and I think it's solid definitely good $12 and I can see probably 10 different looks you could make out of it so that is always a win in my books and again excuse all of this I promise I will be back to normal by next week you guys so that is it for today i hope you enjoyed and i will see you in my next video bye you guys